A couple of months ago, when we were still in Ohio, we decided to visit Javasi Vineyard. It is a Tuscan-themed wine resort located in the heart of Canton, Ohio. One of the first buildings you are greeted with is the marketplace. It is a gift shop of sorts, but with a bit more to offer with small bits and bobs. From wine themed gifts and Javasi branded clothing, and then obviously you can't forget all the wine and the liquor that's for sale. I can understand why people do get married here because it's like you're going to Italy. It's really cool. But we're in Canton. But we're in Canton, Ohio. But nothing around us. Look how cool this uh this wine barrels with the Chibasi logo. That's so cool. I think this will make a good uh thumbnail. It is pretty it's a south of Vineyard. As you can see here, and it runs all the way along. All right, so this is the still house. So apparently, this building was built or remodeled after a church in Italy. Here we go. You can see it's a distillery. They do cocktails and coffee here. So I think that's we're gonna head in and uh, see what it looks like. Unfortunately, the still house was closed that day, so we decided to go visit the yeah, casa. So this, this is the casa. It's a boutique hotel that they have here. It's a beautiful hotel. Um, we're gonna see if we can just go inside. The entrance hall of the Casa is beautiful as you can see. We actually chatted to the receptionist at the desk and asked her if we can view one of the rooms and she said unfortunately every single one of the rooms was fully booked out for the whole summer almost. So. It's a, obviously a very, very popular place. Yeah, I've got a fire pit here. It's so beautiful. And then this is the back side where all the rooms are. So each room has its own little porch. Wow, that's amazing. That's beautiful. How nice is that? It is. Pretty Stunning, amazing. Stunning, eh? Pretty amazing. I just saw a guy like go past on his bike. The Villa Grande is another building they have on property that they use to host weddings. Apparently it's one of the smaller venues that they have that can host about 100 to 110 people. We weren't able to go inside because it was closed, but it was very, very beautiful from the outside. Let's see what's here. Let's see what's here. Let's find out. Villa Portofino over here on the left. As you can see, that's the back of the Villa Grande, so that's where they'll host some of the weddings. Santino. They got bocce ball. You can play bocce ball. It's like balls. <laughs> That's very cute. It's like that um, game in the Olympics, but the art. Oh. Um, what a vibe! Look at this. Very 
this one's like a, a wine slushy. That one's nice. This one's good. It's just strong. This is so peaceful. Imagine like getting a picnic, like blankie, and then you just order food there uh, to go. You get a wine bottle and you just sit here and have a picnic. That sounds so nice. Everything that they've thought of is like thinking to accommodate everyone, you know, they thought of a bocce court. If you're waiting, you can play some bocce or you can sit by the lake while you wait for your table. It's really accommodating and it's really a pleasant experience, even if you're waiting for your table, you know, so it's really fun. I love this place. It's really awesome.